Joe Pugh for Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD, joined by the man himself, Mr. Johnny Nelson. How are you, Johnny? Job, did you say? Job, yes. You know what? It sounds like a that sounds like a like a group, like a, an R and B group. <laughs> I'm alright, thank you. I'm alright. Good little work. Good little uh, press conference today. It was. It was, a, it was a long one, wasn't it? There was a, a lot of talent on display for Saturday night here, obviously, for the press conference for React Poor, the on Juma. We'll start off at the main event. Two fights become one, obviously. Juma was meant to be fighting Mikhail Lawal. Re 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 Rich, Rich React Poor was meant to be fighting Tershi. Great fight. Better fight, in my opinion. Uh, Juma and React Poor, uh, both unbeaten fighters. One has uh, more fights, uh, less knockouts. The other has less fights, more knockouts, both unbeaten, both uh, domestic, great London, it's an excellent London fight, uh, if you're a fan of these boys, um, and so, and I think Richard would probably have more to lose, uh, a loss would hurt him more than it would uh, Dion. And, uh, but it's a good, interesting fight. Uh, Dion Juma is a, is, a, is a southpaw, he's awkward, he's, um, he's confident, um, He's had opportunities in the past, uh, so he's been given the opportunity, so that says something about him. Uh, Richard Riappor has, has now um, placed himself in Loughborough. Uh, he's done an AJ, he's, he's set up camp, he lives a life now, he's moved out of London. Um, and so uh, I just like the commitment of both fighters. It could be a really, really good fight uh, with an excellent finish, but I think you've got two hungry fighters there that, that really fancy it. Definitely, and on the undercard, there's so much young talent, obviously, Caroline de Bois leading probably the female prospect charge in the UK as a whole, the Azim brothers, but what's your pick of the undercard? You know what? We start, the fights start from 5pm, 5, 5 and that's live streaming. I think we go now about 7 o'clock, I think it is. <clears throat> and if you, if you like boxing, this is a good bill. There's a young girl called Shannon Ryan on, she's with 258 Management. So he said it's going to be her first professional fight. Keep an eye on her. Now remember this interview. Keep an eye on her. She tonight. It's something that's going to be first professional fight. She potentially is going to be the next darling, the next superstar uh, of, of British boxing. Caroline, Caroline Dubois. We know about. We know what she's capable of doing. We you know. I think this is the second fight in. Uh, again, good fighters. The UK are now starting to breed a stock of, of, of female fighters that. The world has to sit and think, you know what, there's some good talent there, some really good talent there. So of course, you know, that's, 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 that to me, I'm excited about that. Then there's Dan Aziz. Dan Aziz, massive fan, light heavyweight champion. Um, and Dan, Dan reminds me of a, of a, of a Marvin Hagler-esque uh, style of fight. He's a throwback fight, he's hungry. And he doesn't hide the fact that, listen, in my opponent, he, he beat me up. He didn't beat me, beat me up as an You don't hear that often, do you? Yeah, he, uh, not at all. And I love the story cause, because I can, I can relate to the story. I was in exactly the same shoes. Now he wants the chance to show off to say, I'm a man now, let's do it again. Let's see what you got. Let's see if you can get away with this time. Good fight, um, intriguing fight. So uh, I'm interested to see how it turns out. But the whole bill, love it. Yeah, he's one of those, obviously, uh, Adam Smith described it out there as a developmental card, really. But so many potential future stars and great for Sky Sports obviously you look a year ago who'd have thought you'd have the stable after Eddie left yeah well, well of course and, and basically boxing in conjunction with Sky now giving an opportunity to fighters that never had an opportunity before or that were overlooked before uh, which is good and I, I'm talking as the next fight I'm talking as a fan I love that. Uh, I love to see fighters on the, on, the, on, the, on the green side of a fight where they, they're, they're making money uh, where they where they where they're all right. They're they're busy because that's what they, that's what they give their life to. Far too often we, do we hear stories about fighters ending up broke uh, and, uh, the, and and everybody else makes money around them. If you're a boxing fan now, if you're a boxer now, uh, it's a great time to be a boxer because you can. This could. This is what you could do for a living because there's that much opportunity out there for you. And I was just speaking to Adam Smith before the press conference started that it's the first big fight night on Sky Sports since Glasgow. Are, are, are you worried about, obviously, the controversy with Josh Taylor? Are you worried that there might be another bit of incompetence from the British Boxing Board of Control? Uh, uh, am I worried? No, I think the pressure is not on the TV broadcasters. The pressure is on the British Boxing Board of Control. Yeah, exactly. 
I'm a big fan of the British Boxing Board of Control. Uh, I think they just dropped a clanger. They dropped clangers now and again. They just dropped a clanger. Now they've got to fix it because they know they're under scrutiny. Everybody's under scrutiny. It's not going to get brushed under the carpet because it stunk that bad. Uh, and again, I'll always fight the corner uh, of, of something I believe in, and I believe the British Boxing Control of Control are there for a reason. Uh, just now and again, such as Glasgow, they messed up. Um, and and yeah, you know, you had three judges kind of judge the same card. I think one judge has been um, downgraded, if not suspended, I don't know. To me, again, even though I didn't agree with the judging, I um, uh, I don't agree with the punishment for one for one man when three of them kind of judged it the same. Um, I'm sure the board will say something like, well, it wasn't for that, for that fight why he's been suspended or downgraded. So why suspend him after that fight? You know, seeing John Lewis in question. Yeah, exactly. So, so I think they kind of, they kind of, they've, they've got to get their house in order. Um, and when the house is working, clock, you know, spot on, they do a great job. Uh, but again, that's not our worry. It's not our problem. You know, it's a, it's a boxing mode of control that I've got to make sure they get the house in order. Definitely. And someone you're close to is Kel Brook. There's been a lot of speculation about what he's going to do next. Can you shed any light? Have you spoken to him recently? Uh, Kel, yeah. So Kel is just looking at his options, seeing what's out there for him. Um, I personally would like Kel to, 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 to walk away, walk away on top. That's what I would like him to do. Um, this, this, they're dangling some multi-million cars in front of him. And so in doing that, uh, in, in doing that, they're, um, um, you know, for him to walk away, you know, it's, they're making it hard for him to do that. If anything, I'd say um, fight somebody like uh, Conor Ben, who I rate, by the way, um, and I'd not like to see. Uh, well, I would like to see it, but I've, they're, they're two guys that I know and I, I actually rate, and I just think, wow, you know what, I just, I, I'd want Kel to walk away, but... I have a funny feeling he ain't going to do that. I have a funny feeling he's going to have him too much dough for him to, to it's going to be too, too hard for him to walk away. There, they are dangling that carrot. Last one from me, Johnny. In less than a month's time now, about two minute walk over there, we're going to be getting a massive heavyweight fight. A fight that, whether you, uh, even if you're not a boxing fan, you're going to be watching it. Tyson Fury versus Dillian White. Just your thoughts on the the, the speculation on the treatment of Dillian White, yourself as a former fighter and someone who's in the industry now. Look, I don't know the ins and outs of what, what's going on, but what I do, I assume, uh, is the fact that Dylan is, is not being given any tickets, he's not being, he, he's been treated treated pretty shabbily. Uh, so I understand why Dylan's not done anything in regards to promoting it. You know, he's not been given a ticket. Uh, so he's going to have to walk into the Lions' den. He's going to have to walk into that fight and in touch, into Wembley, and everybody is going to be against him. But Dylan's too ignorant to make that to make that affect his his performance. He want, comes, wants to come and do a job. Uh, I think the, the the nonsense that's going on before the fight will be nonsense until we get to fight night. Tyson Fury's proved he's the best out there on paper. He's proved it, so you can't question him. You can't say, but this, that, and everything. He's, he's ticked every box going. So it's now for um, Dylan White to. To, to get people's respect, get people to say, you know what, he actually can do it. He actually, you know, he's got, he's got to earn that right for people to believe that he could beat um, um, Tyson Fury. And that's no, no, no diss to, to Dylan because I like Dylan, uh, I, I, I like Tyson, you know, but he's got to prove himself. Fantastic. Johnny, won't take, keep you any longer. Thank you very much for speaking to Boxing UK and I'll speak to you again very soon, hopefully. Cheers, mate. Thank you.